Ask Me Anything series with our master coaches and long-term members of the community. Today, I am delighted to get to introduce uh, someone who's become a good friend, an amazing coach, and our concierge extraordinaire, Miss Cherry Jeffs. Hi there, Kendra. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining us today. Um, I've been looking forward to this. I've been collecting, collecting notes and, uh, and jotting down questions that, uh, that I wanted to be sure and, and ask you. But before we, before we jump in, you know, we've known each other forever. So I think, I think we forget to do this. But do you mind sharing kind of your origin story, you know, how you got connected to Coach.me and how you really became our, um, our onboarding for coaches? Huh. Yeah, um, I think synchronicity was the beginning of the story, really, because uh, I was, uh, I'm an artist, um, but I've always had like some sort of a side hustle. And my side hustle was teaching yoga. And I decided this was back, well, it's about seven years ago, around 2015. Uh, I decided that yeah, I'm getting older and this is not something that's going to be sustainable probably for me in the long term, showing up, teaching classes every day. And um, so, and my partner, I decided we want to do a bit more traveling and moving around. And so we planned that in the July of that year, 2015, we would um, just start moving around and we would leave, stop doing the static teaching that we were doing in that at that moment. And literally in in that in the run up to that period, Tony, our uh, ex CEO, sent out uh, a request for coaches who or pe people who were using the then Lift app, I think it was still, um, who were interested in becoming coaches. And it was just like it was meant to be. So uh, I just hopped on. So that's how I came to be there right at the beginning. I love uh, it. Okay. And then so then fast forward about five years and um I think I was always very active wasn't I on on slack because I really believe in community I think that community is the way that we can all prosper as coaches as humans whatever I think what we what we benefit the benefits we get from belonging to a community are so much greater than the small effort that we put in to become part of one um, so I was always a very active on the Slack group. And I think because of that, Tony contacted me and he said, I, I get the feeling that you should be doing something within within Coach Me. And we were talking about promoting events and I was going, oh, I'm not sure that's really what I want to do. And then suddenly he went, I know, I know. What about onboarding new coaches? And that's how I came to be the concierge. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And like you, I can't imagine it. I can't imagine it any other way. So uh, there's two things that you shared that I, I'd love to dig deeper. So um, the, the fact that you were already using the habit tracker before you started coaching. So so how did you discover habits and, and really the power of habits and, and using a, a habit tracker all that time ago? So... Um two things really the credit for finding the app will go with my with my partner because he he found it <laughs> he's a real tech he's a nerd so <laughs> he used it first and I got into it after him um and then habits I spent a year I think it was I can't remember the year now but one year anyway previous to coach to to coach me being coach me I made a piece of art every day for 365 days and that really taught me the power of habit that, that you know showing up every day for a just I think it was just an hour and how much you could achieve in that in that time so yeah that really taught me a lot about uh, momentum so I think that's how probably why I got into the idea of, of using the tracker. I love it. And I, I think we met during that time when you were, when you were doing that create, create every day. Um, and I, I just love to, to share these 
because I think every coach that I know has a, we didn't just kind of wake up and decide to be a coach. We have, we had a journey of applying many of these same principles that we coach to our lives and just seeing the, the magic and then really wanting to um, really wanting to share that with um, with other folks. So I, I love that you believed in this and, and really started doing this even before really the app even offered coaching. Right. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, and I think that um, I was looking for a way to share that, to share that information with people, but I didn't, and, you know, I was thinking about courses and, yeah, I didn't feel quite right. And I don't like spending ages doing loads of videos and stuff like that. I wasn't, it didn't feel quite right. And then this, I, I love live coaching. So, you know, when people talk to me about, oh, you could scale up, you could, you know, clone yourself into a course. It's like, no, because I love, I actually love to talk to people. That's what really motivates me to see people making progress in front of me, not in an abstract fashion that they've downloaded a book or you know, although I do have ebooks and things, but to actually see someone's daily progress, that's super motivating for me. Yes, love it, love it. Okay, the other thing you shared in the beginning, and, and I think why, you know, why you've become such an integral part of our team um, is just your belief in the power of, of community. I, I agree with you. I, um, I, I joke that if I write another, if I write a book or another book, it's going to be called Life as a Team Sport and kind of talk about that, uh, <laughs> that concept that we're not, we're not meant to go it alone. Um, so let's talk about, let's talk about the, the Coach Shop Me coaching community. You know, let's catch people up, what we, what we used to have in Slack, what we have in Discord and why you think that matters. Like wh why should a coach be a, be a part of this? Sure. Um, so the biggest question that I normally get from coaches is like, how can I promote my coaching? And I think people tend to think of it as a very outward directed thing, like they should be on social media or blasting, you know, here I am, I'm a coach, all good, you know, but I know that a lot of coaches are not super, super comfortable with marketing and things like that. And that's something obviously we're all trying to address within the coach me framework but it isn't always about um how do i say like broadcasting yeah a lot of the ways that you can get clients is by building your network and that's with other coaches as much as anyone because your speciality you know like the kind of things that you coach kendra are completely different to the things that i coach and so if i have someone who needs your specialist skills it's good for me to say, hey, I know someone that can help this client. Who Because often someone who's into coaching, they may get coached on one thing and then they realize that that coaching process has been so helpful. They want to use it in another area of their life or their career or their health, whatever. So this, uh, what was our Slack group now, Discord, this is an opportunity to get to know other coaches, to not only get clients that way by referring, but also to improve your skills when you're stuck, when you don't know how to deal with a client that's causing you difficulties because you're maybe you're inexperienced in that area. You've got a whole network of coaches that you can ask for advice, which for free. And you can learn every day from, from what other coaches are experiencing so it's a tremendous resource love it love it and we're going to dig into i want to dig into the we'll show discord in a minute we did that in nathan's ama a couple weeks ago and i've had several folks comment that they really appreciated that and i love that that nathan is here with us today and welcome leah thank you for joining us other folks here uh, don't have to be shy. Feel free to to chime in. Uh, we won't call on you unless uh, unless you vol volunteer. But we'd love your your questions and comments. Uh, I did have a question sent in from, uh, and I think this is a good place to start because you you referenced a few things. I want to try to tie some threads together. Uh, but Kristen in Australia, and this is a, a most inconvenient time uh, for her. So apologies to our 
our Aussie friends on uh, on time zones. This is the the hour that that most of the world is awake. So we we try hard to, to line up with as many time zones as we as we can, but we inherently miss a few. But Kristen sent in um, a few questions, kind of a, a series of questions, and so I want I want to put it on the on the screen, and then let's kind of take it layer by layer. So Kristen asks. Um, if, if she puts her links on social posts or um, otherwise, you know, shares her links and it brings in clients, um, she keeps most of that revenue. Yes. And then what percentage does she keep of her own of her own clients? And so I'd love for us to kind of, you know, dissect the math here of of what happens when coaches bring in their own clients. What happens when coaches refer to other coaches, you know, how, how that works as a stream of income. And then what happens when the directory or coach.me is providing coaches with clients? Cause this is a great question, Kristen, the, the math is a little bit different in each, uh, in each scenario. So let's, uh, let's dive in. Um, so let's talk about that. How do you, how do you teach that when you're working with, uh, when you're working with new coaches in the concierge program of, you know, the concept of their referral link and, and how to be sure and use that. Yeah. Okay. So the, the referral link, as I <laughs> stress is super important because the, the referral, your referral link shows coach me's internal workings, if you like internal accounts that, the client has come to the platform via your link. And that means that you'll get all of the revenue from, uh, if you bring a client to the platform, you'll get all of your revenue minus a small uh, admin fee, which is just a few dollars. If the client comes via the directory, uh, they hire you because they find you in the directory, then you will get, 50% 50% of the revenue and coach me will get 50% of the revenue. And I don't know about referral fees of other coaches. You're going to have to tell me that Kendra. I hope you know, because <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I, I'm I think it's up, 50% I pulled, as well. It, it, it scales up and, and, and we can, uh, we can dig into the exact math, but I wanted to find, I wanted to find right here. Uh, and folks have been doing some work in the back end, uh, so the so things have, have moved around a little bit, but I thought I would just call up live um, my 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 dashboard. Um, don't use my referral code. Uh, I'll, I'll get credit for that. Use <laughs> use yours. But I thought I would show coaches. Um, we could just walk them through literally where to where to find this information. And so I went to my dashboard, and then I clicked over here and went to Coach Settings. That's the first thing that pops up. And then I scrolled down to referral program. And uh, this is this is what you this is the, where you get your unique referral code. Um, and it, it even tells you here that the uh, when you're when your client, when somebody comes using hires you using your uh, your referral code, the coach.me only takes the processing fee of of five percent plus 30 cents. So really you're your, your credit card processing fee for the most part and a, a very small administration fee um, there. So if you're bringing your own, your own clients, the, the platform um, is, is, is really only taking the, the tiny administration portion. And this, we got into this a little bit in Ramon's uh, Ramon's session, you know, that, that you, you keep, you know, 95% virtually all of your revenue in that scenario. So, so much more advantageous than sort of waiting for clients to be airdropped in. So to, so to speak from a financial perspective, um, let's talk about, so the referring other coaches, I think that's another layer that coaches don't often think about. And, and as you said, um, such a great benefit to the community, both of, um, getting revenue, when you refer a, a client or a contact to another coach or networking so that other coaches know enough about you to refer their um, clients or, or contacts to, to you. And so for coaches to do that, 
they just you just add this uh you just add that that little session there at the end of of all of your links correct All right. Good. You should stuff. start with a question mark. I can't see yours, but I can't. Oh yes, it does start with a question mark. Your ref, you, yep. your reference yep. case starts with a question mark. Good point. Let me make so that yeah, so bit. that's one of the things that we're doing on Discord is we're trying to bring back the um, the you know find a coach uh, scenario, oh, yes. which is where on yes. Slack we used to post. So basically, if you have a client that's looking for a coach for services that you can't provide for whatever reason. It can be, sometimes it's because you're going on leave. People go on pregnancy leave. People go on sick leave. But, you know, people go on um, holiday, long vacations or, or trips. Um, so sometimes it's just because you say, okay, I, I want to, to, to close my list for a while. You would look for coaches in your own niche. But also you may get clients who, as we said before, are looking for a coach in another area of their lives that you don't cover. So you're looking to find the best coach to refer your client to. You can go to this channel on Discord and basically post up what are you looking for, you know, and people can respond. They can respond with themselves. Hey, I'm a coach for this. And other people will also chime in and say, I am you know, Nathan is a great coach for ADHD, you know, um, he's coached hundreds of clients, maybe you want to talk to him, you know, so, and it's a, so you, it's a win, 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 as I said, which you don't often get, you get a referral fee, if the, if the client takes it up, the coach gets a new client, and the client gets a good coach, that's, you know, what can we do that's better than that? Yeah, and for some reason, my, my discord, when I went to share, it was just a, a black, black screen. I'm going to, I'm going to reset it oh. here in the, in the background, of course, got to love technical challenges. If I, if I can't get it to reset, we'll add, we'll add Nathan and get him to, to share screen uh, so he can be our, our discord guide. Um, but when the, the place, so for coaches that might be in discord and wondering where to look around, look for the coaches forum. And we've got lots of threads. I'm going to try this one more time. And let's see if I can get our screen to uh, to play nice. And then I, I see we've got some great uh, great questions coming in. So we'll uh, no, still not not popping up. Um, so maybe Nathan, uh, if if when you get back from your food delivery, uh, if if you don't mind joining us and helping share screen to to demo Discord Live, I, I don't mean to call them on tech support live, but uh, if it works, that'd be great. Um, Let's take some of these questions. Felix has a great, Felix has a great question. Um, if she has a practice client, so she, she went through the habit coaching certification program, went through her, uh, getting her, her practice clients. And then now how does she switch them over to paying clients? So I think this is a, I think this is a fabulous question. What's your, your recommendation there? Um, my recommendation is that just to make sure that it all works properly is that they end, end that coaching with her and they resubscribe using her reference link, her reference code, um, to the, to the coaching. Cause I know we have had sometimes some glitches with that. So I think it's best to just, you know, make sure you give them the, <laughs> make sure you give them the code before they go, give them the full, you can actually use your reference code on a specific package. So you can put your whole package link and then the reference code at the end so that people go right to the right page that you want them to uh, and sign up again. Love it. Love it. And, and that's a great point. So you would just, and, and we shared that message. I think it was in week seven or week eight of HCC you know, that, Hey, I've, I've finished, you know, thank, I've finished my training program. Thank you so much for helping me with, with being a, a practice client. If you'd like to, I'm going to end coaching, you know, in, in a week or, or two weeks. Um, and if you'd like to, uh, if you'd like to continue coaching, here's the link to sign up and Felix. Oh, another great question. She's got a great follow-up here. Um, how do they keep their, their comment thread? The system will bring it back. The system will bring it back yep. automatically. It comes all comes back. 
Good stuff. All right. So great questions, Felix. Thank you for, for getting us going. Um, I see another great question from, from Leah. Um, she's been encouraging people to simply sign up and track their own habits. She's under the impression that tracking habits is free. Is that correct? Yeah, that's free. Totally free. Um, All right. So it's also why... from the coaches. Oh, go on. Oh, I was just going to say, why would the coach why would... you? It's... <laughs> We've got a little laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go Kendra uh, London and the US are, 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 are our time is a, a few seconds off here um, why would a coach you know this is a great idea I love it I, 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 I'm curious to hear, hear your perspective why would a coach you know encourage people to, to play with their habits and, and start you know tracking their habits and getting, getting more informed on their habits to encourage people to use the app and it is a way to because that's the other side of the community as well that um the app has a community within it as well that of, of users and who obviously some of us most hope most of us are using it as well um, but it's not only made of coaches, so people can get support for doing their habits, free support from the community itself. Um, so it's a great way to get people into the ecosystem. And maybe if they're not doing well with their habits, they'll go on to look for a coach because they can actually find a coach from within the habit tracker itself. Good stuff. Um, so sorry, I'm trying to work a, a backup plan for, for discord while, uh, while Cherry's talking, not the greatest of, of strategies, but that's the, uh, that's the excitement and peril of doing things, uh, <laughs> doing things live is we have to solve, solve tech issues on the fly. I think can we're going to get it. I could do a screenshot, but I don't know how I would upload it or maybe I can share it. I think I've got that. it. Oh, okay. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Let me try one more time. I have to clean up all of my uh, all of my screens so that uh, so that this uh, this works. Okay, I think we've we've got it now. So this is uh, this is our Discord. Um, this little icon here, which uh, old school folks will will recognize, it is the old uh, the old app. It was blue, but uh, that that icon there is the old uh, the old app. Uh, back when it was Lyft, uh, a, l a little bit of an Easter egg in our in our in our group. Uh, so so this here is our our Discord group, and it can it can look a little noisy uh, at first, uh, but I would encourage coaches to uh, to just hang in there for a for a few minutes. Um, we've got the the welcome channel, um, we've got an announcement channel, but this is the the area that I wanted to um, we wanted to feature. This is our, our coaches forum where there's all kinds of, of threads. And this one here, this looking for a coach, Cherry, let's, um, let's use our, our live, live example here. Yeah, so this is where you want to post if you're looking for a coach, as I mentioned before, uh, for one of your clients or indeed friends, family, whatever, uh, that you can't personally serve. Um, and as we said, it's a win-win-win. You will get a referral fee if the coach and the client click together. Um, and the client will get a great coach if you get a really good recommendation from the community. And uh, the and what was the <laughs> that's my third. <laughs> well, and the client benefits. And the client they, benefits they from a, more, a great coach. Yeah, a more applicable. So let's say I see this. Um, and, and as you pointed out, we all specialize in, in different things, um, and office yoga, um, of all the things I would love to do, I am, I would not be good at that myself, much less to coach somebody else. But, um, let's say, you know, perhaps, um, I can, I can think of a few coaches actually in the HCC cohort right now. Uh, but they're, they're not, uh, they're not graduated yet. Let me try to it's so hard when I'm when I meet new coaches every couple of every couple of months. But let's pretend 
Um, uh, let's pretend that maybe Nathan, so not quite in his, uh, in his wheelhouse, um, but this is how, um, this is what a coach could do. They could chime in and they could say, hey, this is something I'd love to do. I've got, you know, I've got a lot of experience in this. Or they could facilitate connections and, and connect a few other, a few other coaches. So um, really super simple to use in the, in the, in the technology. Uh, it, it does look a little, uh, it can look a little busy. But I, I would say with just a, a, a few minutes a day of engagement, um, can absolutely be uh, be worth it. So let's. What about some of the other channels that if if you're introducing new coaches or or existing coaches to the Discord community, what are what are some other places that you would have them get started? Um. So the questions from users. That one I like because that's another one we brought back from Slack. That's an automated feed which shows any questions that any users of the habit tracking app are asking. And that's a great place to find clients because I do encourage coaches to hang out on the app, especially to have goals that are in their area of speciality so that they can interact with general public on their topics of expertise. And so if someone has a question, um, you may be the ideal person to help them and that may at some point translate into the client. It may not, but it may all you just helping the community to grow, if not. So let's yeah. give let's give some some um, if you don't mind, I'd almost kind of like to do this um, do this live. Um, you know, a coach might say, do I do I jump right in and tell them that, um, you know, do I jump right in and tell them that I'm a. I'm a coach and, and to come hire me or how would a coach engage in, in that situation? So normally it's just a specific question. So someone might say, mm, I'm studying for my final exams and I've got um, 10 subjects to cover. How do I organize my day so that I can study optimally for the next seven weeks? If that's your area of expertise, then be helpful, be honest. Don't try and tease them with some sort of answer that's <laughs> gonna really, you know, partially, you're not, you're not there to like partially answer the question in order that they need to hire you. You, you know, we'd, we'd expect that you'd give a genuine answer, not, you know, like an essay, but a brief helpful answer is a good thing to give. Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that you ever suggested that you that they hire you. You will come up if you're a, a, a certified habit coach. That will be obvious to the the user because you have a little thing underneath that says you're a coach. So, it, and they, Leah makes can, a great. I'm sure point. they can work it out for themselves. <laughs> and Leah Leah makes a great point that this can be uh, this is an automated feed. Um, so it, it can be maybe not spam, but, um, you know, not all really relevant, but, um, you know, just keeping an eye on it, searching it d does give, give some ideas. And we notice it kind of ebbs and flows. Um, and we also just yes. got this connection, um, re reset. So we're fine tuning, uh, we're fine tuning what all, what all goes to it. This is very much a, uh, I'll call it a kitchen table kitchen table conversation where um, we we share stuff with coaches really early and then use that input with coaches to, sh you know, to, to shape things. So you, you get to see us. Sure. Um, more yeah, in all. the role. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Nathan's work. Nathan's working on, on trying to weed out the spam, I think. That, but also obviously if coaches see it, please do just uh, click on it once only. Um, to, to market as spam so that we can make it disappear. Great point. Yes, Gwen will appreciate that. Yeah, if you click it once, Gwen gets a feed and can can manually remove that as spam. There's a little dot, dot, dot as mark inappropriate. Let's go back to our, our coaching dashboard because I, I think um, this reminded me there's such great information here 
that may, maybe coaches, uh, you know, aren't aware that it, that it's here and, and really that a, a lot of next steps are there. So we, we showed the um, referral information that's got the builder. So this is where you talked about, you could plug in the link to your package and it'll, it'll automatically add your referral code. So you, then you can just copy and paste um, that, that link there. There's information on our social media cross promotion group here. Uh, we'll have, we'll have bear on in the future to, uh, to talk about, talk about that one for us. Um, all kinds of information here in this, this back end. there's a directory of other, other coaches, right? So you can see, uh, where other coaches are on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest or medium. Um, if you'd like to, uh, if, if they enter that information and would like their information shared. So if you're looking for somebody, you can, uh, you can find them there. Lots and lots, some writing opportunities. If you want to explore that, um, some, some marketing resources. I just wanted to show that there's, there's quite a bit in that, uh, in that back end of the coaching dashboard that we sometimes, uh, forget is, is there. Yeah, and one of the confusions, because um, probably, you know, like one of the things that come across a lot with new coaches is the, the fact that you've got two dashboards, essentially. One is your user dashboard, which is your private profile for you as a user of the app and tracking your own habits. And one is the the coach profile, coach settings, which is where you access your coach profile you build your coach profile and you can access all of that, that information and resources so they are two completely different things if you can try to sign up with the same email that you used <laughs> when you set up your that your if you are already a user try to use the same email to sign up for coach to become a coach because otherwise it gets confusing and people go, I can't find my settings. And that's because they have to log out and then log back in to, to another user. So try to be the same user in both places. Um, and the other thing that you can do as a coach is that if you are a user, this is another opportunity to promote yourself. You can in your personal profile header, just write your, the link to your, to your coaching profile. It won't be a high the link but people can type it out and oh good oh. good point okay so i'm so. learning some tricks that i hadn't thought about in a while so if folks just type if they're <laughs> logged in and they just type coach.me on in their browser it's going to automatically default to their to their dashboard if they're if they're logged in um so this is my my personal uh, my personal dashboard. I've I've shaped it a little bit uh, in recent weeks, and and just added the the cross promotion challenge. Bear got that going just just this week, but this settings page uh, is where we would update our personal settings. And you're right, mine's pretty old. I could go in and uh, I could go in and and update some of that, and our coach settings. So we've got really two different, as you said, two different profiles. One is a user and one as a, as a coach. And what about folks engaging, um, let's say, you know, within a habit, right? Set, set priorities for your day is a, maybe a habit that a, a lot of folks are, are checking into. 59 people have already checked into it um, today. How, how, how can folks interact with, with some of these questions inside their, their habits? Sorry, broken up a bit there, Kendra. Could you repeat oh, the question? Apologies. Sure, sure, sure. So if um, if coaches are active as as individuals in certain habits, so let's say set priorities for your day, a coach has that on their dashboard and is checking into it every day, uh, and maybe even coaches it. Um, you know, what would be the benefits to a coach of if they coach a habit? checking into it every day and then using uh, using some of these questions as well. Okay, sure. So, yeah, I mean, first of all, it's a kind of social proof. If you're 
checking into the habit every day you know people can see that you're an active you're you're pr practicing what you preach she says who hasn't checked into the <laughs> the app for weeks um so that's one advantage the and the other advantage is again as we talked about community um you know just be a normal human and prop people for for achieving their habits that's something that you can that I used to do a lot when I was you know certainly if I was quiet I didn't have many clients and I'm sitting there waiting to check in with my clients and I'm staring at my dashboard I would go through every single habit and I would go in and I would prop the users in there for having you know achieved their their goal for the day um, and got to know some people that you know I still chat to on social media through that that method and got some clients as well so it's a good way to just build your community again love um, it and I, uh, what else, it something else I wanted to mention uh, um one other thing i wanted to mention but it's gone out of my head so keep talking and maybe it will come back to me um yeah you can obviously you can follow as you can see you've got on your screen you've got all the people that are checking into habits but also friends so you can follow people on there just as you would on any social media channel and that is a way to get to know people and make connections great point great point all right. oh yes i know what i want to say one could you bring up that um could you just go back to that screen one more time kendra where you've got the set priorities for your day um you, you where was the first screen no because it yeah at the top okay so where you see how many people have checked in and you can also see if you were to go and um uh, okay, it's not here. I think when you add a new goal, um, coaches are often looking for goals that not a lot of other coaches are coaching. When you add a new goal, it will tell you how many coaches are on that first screen. You'll see a list of how many people are coaching the habit. But the number it gives, it might say 47 coaches are coaching this habit. But then if you actually click on as if you are going to add the habit to your dashboard you'll then only see maybe seven coaches and the difference between those two numbers is who's a certified habit coach and who isn't so you may there may be 39 coaches that are coaching that habit but they're not going to appear in the habit coaching directory when someone searches for them so you if you're looking to coach that habit the competition may not be as steep as you think it is to coach that habit so you need to check those two numbers it's a bit confusing but yeah that that's way so if you were going to if you added one that you don't have on your list like wake up by 6 30 or something like that do you do you have that one um you'll see it says how many coaches underneath to the second line it says coaches oh you've gone I think I must have a bit of a delay, um, but if okay. I, if we go to inbox zero, there you yeah, go. Yeah, so we're, there you go, that second down. line you can see, but where you were on the previous page, you so there you can see you've got four coaches. Now go back to the previous page and you can see, oh, actually only four showing, but sometimes it, it will show nine, like 18 yeah. coaches. Right, it says nine and there's four pictures. So that's that's the difference. So nine coaches but only four that will come up in for the in the habit coach directory. So if someone is looking in that directory for a coach, only those certified coaches are going to come up. Great point. Great okay. point. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's, I, I want to show Nathan's, Nathan's comment uh, that he's noticed that he's, if he's checking in with his own habits regularly, you know, posting comments, propping others, that it, it does build, build exposure in the, in the community and, and proof of your own, you know, proof of your own, um, your own progress and that you're a real life human, you know, you're, you're mm. a real life human dealing yeah. with, uh, dealing with, with, uh, with habits. Um, another kind of follow up, follow up comment that it's a good learning point for what, you know, if you're really studying that and, and you're really wanting to master yeah. one area, which 
you know, if you didn't watch Ramon's uh, episode last week about why we should pick one area and work to master it, go, go watch that and then come back to this. Uh, but this is absolutely a way uh, to learn more about awesome. your ideal, your ideal client and, and mastering that. Really good point. Really good idea. I'm going to add that onto my, onto my uh, concierge. Definitely. Good stuff. So let's let's talk about that. So what is, you know, if if I'm a coach and I've I've uh, been around a long time, maybe before we established the formal concierge, or I'm a new coach, what is the concierge program? What do they need to know about that? Okay, so I think ideally it's for you as a new coach. Um, you can't start it too soon because it will tell you I will tell you or I will explain to you the first steps that you need to take um, I'll hold your hand while you set up your profile in a very basic way we're not going to go into deep detail like you would with Kendra on the uh, habit coaching certification but I will try and ensure in with briefly that you get the basics up there in the right in the right way so that you're putting your best foot forward um, and um, I will show you all that. I'll remind you of all those little things like how to use your reference code. Um, what if you're if if you're on the habit coach certification, things like the 72 hour rule where your um, availability gets turned off if you don't check in with your clients for 72 hours. Little things like this, which you're maybe not going to find on your own. Um, uh, what happens when you also get you get to experience the 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 interface so it's like I'm obviously not coaching you I'm training you so you're not going to get the experience of being coached but you are going to get the experience of using the coach me interface whether that's on your phone or on your uh, computer um, I'm going to give you a whistle top whistle stop tour of discord <laughs> um, and you can ask me questions. So like we're doing here, if there's something you're not clear about revenue or how do I do this or where should I go to do that or what happens if, then, you know, I'm probably going to be able to answer them. And if not, then I'm going to be able to ask the person who can. If you're already on the platform and you're struggling with some of those aspects because you missed out on that concierge service, then by all means, still sign up. You may still, you know, you probably will still benefit. There probably are things that you don't know. Uh, I'm always, I'm still finding out things I don't know. You're still finding them, Kendra. So, you know, no one knows. I don't think anybody knows the platform like 100% in, inside out. So, you know, there's always something to learn. And we charge, we charge a dollar for that. So let's explain to folks, um, why we don't just just make it free why do why do we charge a dollar for that okay so a dollar is just so that you can go through the experience of signing up for a package and you know what that looks like from the user's point of view so that's a good experience in itself um but yes fundamentally we are giving you a free service which you know i'll turn up and i will speak to you every day for 10 days you know five day five week days for two weeks so you know, and I'm not trying to sell you anything. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you uh, get the most out of the platform. So, yeah, yeah, do it. Kudos from from Leah here. The concierge program was super helpful. She could tell who in our cohort. So she's speaking about our last habit coaching certification program. It is pretty clear who who had who who has the just the. It's amazing what what ten minutes a day uh, for a for a few days will uh, will do, uh, and I and I like. I like this Nathan's point um, that that even if somebody asks you a question you don't know, th that's not the end of the road. That that you and the community will be sure we track down, you sure. know those um, those answers. And even though the um, the concierge program, you know, technically only lasts a couple of weeks, I think I feel comfortable saying Cherry embodies the concierge. And so if you find her in Discord. Uh, and you're using, you know, you're using the channels, you're, you're going to get some, some ongoing uh, concierge support. Uh, if you come to the community and, and stay active, um, 
Sure. Sure. I always say, yeah, ask me more, you know, get find me on Discord. I suppose one other thing I would say as well, I think it's in a way it's a practice for your coaching. If you're going to be, especially if you're going to be a habit coach, then you need to get into that habit of showing up every day. And that's if you can't show up to chat with me, then question whether you're going to show up to chat with your clients because you need that kind of regularity and it is really only five minutes or three minutes and if you can get in that mindset that you can achieve a lot in a short time that's exactly what your clients are going to want from you so I love it that's going to go Felix challenged me this morning to do a best of uh, a, a best of compilation when we finish this month's <laughs> eight days and uh, and I think that's absolutely going to go in there because it goes with Ramon last week, you know, really talking about why do we believe, why do we believe in habit coaching? Why are we passionate about this? Why is our whole really company and platform and community all based around um, habit coaching? And I I think you said it best. You can have such an impact in a, in a a, a relatively small amount of time. Mm All right. So Nathan, uh, Nathan chimed in. You're going to have to share some of your, your artwork with us. So, (laughs) Uh, well, you have to follow the link on my profile to, to my website and you can see it there. Oh, let's do it. All right. So here's her profile and uh, there's how we can. uh, Oh, wow. Okay got a, a whole a whole nother side of cherry that uh that that we don't get to see every day so <laughs> all right good stuff good stuff so we can go we can all fall down that that rabbit hole uh, <laughs> as, uh as well i love wearing it. the same t-shirt just a match <laughs> i love it i'd like lo- you know if you travel a lot the wardrobe is small that, that oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's one of the one of the trade-offs my daughter fusses at me all the time and i'm like honey i Travel I and, like and a large wardrobe do not uh, do not do not go together. All right, I see some other uh, some other great questions coming in. I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take Nathan's and then um, and then Leah and then Felix. I'm gonna take them in reverse order. Uh, all awesome questions. So Nathan and I love this keeping us accountable. You know what is your your profile link? So sometimes we we jump ahead. Uh, and uh, and assume folks know our um, our our terminology. So our profile link is this here: the coach.me slash whatever slug or or URL you've chosen for your your profile. So Cherry's is is Grow Wings. You know, mine is Kendra. I think Nathan's is Nathan Suds, all spelled out. Um, you definitely want to want to know this and be able to say it or or type it as you're in um, conversations with folks. But Nathan, great, uh, great question. All right, let's see. Um, so when uh, Leah says when people in the in the cohort ask what does asynchronous coaching mean, um, she immediately thinks, okay, you didn't you didn't do the the concierge. Um, you know, you didn't do the concierge program. Good, good point. You know, kind of like, let's help you here. Um, so if, if you were going to define that, or I know you do define that for folks, what do you, what do you think are the elements that, um, that make it asynchronous chat coaching and, and, and why is that a tool that that's important for coaches? Okay. So well, it's super important for people like me and Nathan, who are on completely different time zones to you lot in the in the US, for example. So it means that you can check in with your clients at the time that is convenient for you, and they can check in with you at the time that's convenient for them, and they don't have to be in the time the same time zone. So basically I mean I think at the beginning of the relationship it's good if you can talk to someone maybe you can get on a call or you can uh, be online at the same time but once you establish a rhythm to set up to set up uh, habits and to check in each day to find out if someone's done what they intended to do were there any problems you don't need to be chatting live to them so you send them a text message and they reply when they can 
The only time I think it doesn't really work, I must say, is I tried to coach someone. I've had a couple of co um, clients in Australia and it didn't work because basically their day was a different day. So like my Friday was their Saturday and that got very confusing. So I, remember I had a client that would sort of message me on my Sunday evening saying, why aren't you checking in with me? And it's like, because it's Sunday and I don't coach on Sundays. So yeah, okay, it can be too much of a stretch, but in most cases, asynchronous means that you can you can chat at your most convenient time. Okay, so so Felix layering on there, you know, you share yours and then and then I'll share I'll share mine. Uh, and how I have a lot of Australian clients uh, have right. and, and do, and I'll share kind of how I navigate that. But so how do you think about the the rhythm of, of your day as it relates to chat coaching? How do you how do you do that? I think that depends on every it's different for every coach, isn't it? I know that your rhythm, Kendra, is different to mine and everyone's got to draw their boundaries where they're comfortable with them. And I must say, I've never had a client say, I don't want to work with you because you don't check in on weekends, for example, which I don't, because um, I need my weekends and that's it. Um, so for me, I have office hours and I tell my clients when I'm when I'll be online and if they and I try to make it at the end of my day so that most of the world is is awake. Um, and that has worked you know then clients do sometimes you know some clients really like to check in with me when I'm when I'm there so it's synchronous coaching and other clients just check in and, and leave me a comment and say hey I wrote 3,000 words today and when I get on I say great go for it next you know what will you do tomorrow and and that's it um so I have my set hours which at the end of my day working day of doing whatever else I'm doing and so when you say office hours, that's just the time that you generally coach each each day that you're yeah. still chat, but it's the time that you're generally online yeah. chatting. Yeah. Oh, cool. I I um I think I did that. I, I, I have done that in the past since the the hurricane. I'm hesitant to um I need some things that are flexible in my in my schedule. And so coaching uh coaching had to take a back seat after that. So Felix, I'm more of a fit it in when it, when it fits in. Um, so, you know, a little bit in the morning, a little bit at midday and a little bit at the, the end of the day. Um, and again, kind of being cognizant of, of time zones and, and when people want, uh, want messages uh, and definitely our Aussie folks have to be comfortable time traveling with us. Um, a, a, a little bit and, uh, it, and sometimes it's fun I, I tease Kristen all the time I love to, to get on with her because I get to go to the next day so if you're having a bad day and you get on the phone with somebody in Australia it's it's already the next day so you can uh, you can you can start over uh, but you you can get creative and, and I think as long as both sides are comfortable with the with the rhythm uh, that it uh, that it that it can work and I, I see Nathan just added that that comment, just setting expectations is, is key. One of the biggest challenges is mismatched. And we, we talk about this in certification, we call it a blister um, of, of, uh, you know, you know, letting something fester, you know, and, and not, not addressing it. And this is where the keystone habit can be, uh, can be critical because it lets us get some momentum early while we're still working out all of those, um, you know, all of those fine tuned details lets the client already, already see some, some progress. So good stuff. Let me flip back through these. Um, so lots, Leah loves your, your sacred geometry. So good, uh, good, good stuff. <laughs> <My t -shirt. laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So good stuff. So we're, we're close to wrap it up. We went over uh, last week and, and some folks loved it and some folks were frustrated that we went over. So I'll, I'll try to stick to uh, an, an hour this time, although it feels like we could, we, could, we could go on. Is there anything else you can think of that would be helpful for uh, either somebody that's new to coaching or new to our platform 
um, or somebody that, you, you know, was, was really active in the community in the past, but, but maybe not as, not as active now and, and is kind of looking to re-engage, um, you know, what are, what are some thoughts that you would have for them? Um, well, definitely join Discord if you haven't and re-engage with some of the conversations that are going on there. Uh, you could do the concierge service. There may be things that you've missed and it is just a chance to even maybe go deeper, ask some questions that you've never asked. Um, and yeah, engage. I think that Nathan's point about learning about your audience from from engaging in the in the habits themselves and seeing what sorts of questions people ask or comments they make. It may not even be questions, but when they're actually doing their check-ins and um, saying, you know, oh, I had a really hard day getting into this today or whatever, you can really learn a lot about your audience. I hadn't thought about that, but it's definitely true. So good from, from that point of view. Um, but just mostly, most of all, we're a community. So come and engage and you will get back a lot more than than probably you even need to put in so you know it's good <laughs> great great point i want to show um just a, a a little bit of a of a preview we've really been working on our blog um and i i just wanted to show this here we've got uh we've got a, a new calendar where we put upcoming events so we've got erno honick uh, next week, and Tony Subblebine is actually joining us cool. uh, for our fifth one. We're putting our videos here. You've got all of the the Coach Me socials and uh, our our Discord link. If you're if you're looking for that, uh, we'll put the recordings up here as soon as they process. We've got our our guest speaker from our ninth graduation. We're really working to. Uh, to share share a, a one central place where where coaches can go uh, to get to get you know plugged into the I'll call it the evergreen stuff. I think Discord is the the day to day the the vibe of the community, and then the blog is uh, more more evergreen, something that's gonna gonna stay a a living resource that right. will will keep current uh, mm, for for great. coaches as well. Really good. All right. Any more questions? This has been an awesome, uh, awesome audience and uh, lots of lots of great discussion that I think coaches will will find helpful. Any more before we wrap it up? So Nathan is seconding that the, the community aspect is key to helping move your your coaching goals forward. Right. What is it if you. Uh, if you want to go far, go together. I think that's the uh, that's the that's the the proverb and holds uh, holds absolutely true, at least in all of our um, in all of our experience. A great point here from Nathan uh, that that Discord, you know, is is definitely emerging. Um, you know, the frankly the the cost. Uh, between Slack and, and Discord is is significant. There's a reason you've seen so many communities um, transition over. Uh, Discord is just um, far more affordable. Think think 10 percent of the of the cost wow. uh, that Slack communities can be, mm -hmm. and and that's four and five digits in some cases mm -hmm. is, is what uh, is what Slack was running. So there's a there's a business viability aspect, particularly as these communities get bigger. So I think Discord is the best, uh, the best tool now. And, and uh, there's some benefits to getting in on the ground floor. So there's some benefits to, to joining communities before, uh, before they really launch. You mm. really can get to know, get to know the, early, um, the early folks. And we want input, don't we? We want coaches to get on there and tell us what they need. So don't be shy. Say, you know, ask questions, but also tell us, hey, it would be really helpful if you had this or that. And we will try to address it. You know, it's a great point. You would think we coordinated this, but we actually released <laughs> a uh, we released a survey yesterday. Uh, so you can you can get to it on our uh, blog website. I linked to it in our Twitter feed and I sent an email uh, to, to coaches. Um, Erno tells me sometimes my emails end up in his, in his spam. So you may want to whitelist 
Kendra at uh, at coach.me to be sure you're getting those as uh, as well, but also posted it on on Twitter. So, all right. Well, thank you, Cherry. This has been amazing. Thank you for our live audience and uh, and and your questions and and uh, just awesome awesome insights. This has been a a, a lot of fun and a, another reminder why we keep doing these. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, everyone. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next week. Yeah.